Hi, welcome back to another session of Anubhav Shah Photography. In this session, we are going to talk about what is multi-view effect in Photoshop. Multi-view effect is a very special and artistic way in which you can change very astonishing results in your images and changes in your images. You can generate very astonishing results in your images. And we will quickly see how to convert this to this. So quickly you know that multi-view effect or multi-view portraits can be created in Photoshop and how can be generated magical effects. So hello, what is the people? This is Anubhav Shah from Anubhav Shah Photography. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, first thing first, let's open Photoshop and create a document in portrait orientation. Now, first of all, we create a shape. So for that purpose, we will select rectangle tool. Shortcut is U. Just create a shape and then change the color to any color but make sure it should not be white. All right. Once this is done, now we will create the shadow which will separate our this rectangular image from the background. Right click on it, go to blending options, go to drop shadow. Now we will increase the opacity. We will increase the distance and the angle and little bit the size. Press OK. And now just place the photographs. We will go to file, place embedded and we will select the image. Now just adjust the photograph as per your requirement. Just decrease the opacity and we will see how we are going to place it. Now our motive is to just show this particular image on the rectangular box which we just made. So we will increase the opacity to 100%. Now it is back to the normal. Now we'll make sure that the image is top of the rectangular box. We will right click on it and we will click on create clipping mask. Perfect and we will adjust the image as per requirement by pressing Ctrl T. So we will increase the size of it. So once this is done, we will press Enter and we will press Shift and we will click both the layers and we will do Command T to adjust entire box somewhere here. And after achieving it, we will press Enter again and I am going to adjust this particular image a little bit more Once this is achieved, now just press shift, click on both the layers, do command or control J to make the copy. Once the copy is created, again do command T and just make another copy right here somewhere. Do enter, click on the image, do control T again and adjust it somewhere here. Perfect. Press enter again. And now this time we will again do the same exercise, select both the layers, we will do command J and then by selecting both the layers, we will do command T. And now we will just rotate the entire rectangle. But our motive is to just rotate the rectangle, not the image inside it. So what we will do, we will just click the rectangle only, we will do command T and we will just rotate it by pressing shift. Perfect. Select the model image and we will drag the image. So our motive is not to match the, you know, entire the perception of the image. Like it should not match, it should be mismatched so that that random effect should come out properly. Control T. We can manipulate the things as per requirement. Now to save the time, I'll just fast forward the step and I will create few more rectangular shape the same way as we did right now. So we'll just quickly do it. Now I'll delete this image and I will embed another image. We are going to select this one. Again, we will do just right click and create clipping mask. Control T. Press Enter.
and this is really looking nice now and now we will do command G to make all the layers into a group and we will now improvise entire texture by creating some sort of few more effect. We have all the layers inside our group. Now we are going to adjust the shadow effect which we created at the beginning of our session little bit more. Now what we are seeing that we are having so many images on the canvas and if we need to know which particular layer is for which layer so the easy method is just press alt or option on mac or control in windows and just click off any of the image once you click it will just select its corresponded image once you select this it will just select this so this is the image this one and if you want to know which one is this this particular image just click on it it will come here so this is the image perfect so what we will do we will just find out which is the topmost image on this group as we can notice that this one this image and this image these two images are on the top of each and every photograph and of course this one as well uh, this one right so what we are going to do, we are going to just increase the shadow of these three images. So we will just start with this particular image. We will select this one. So this is the image. All right. Then right below it, this is the rectangular shape of it. We will go to the FX effect to go to the layer style again. We'll go to a drop shadow and we will now increase the distance. See the distance is getting increased and we will increase the opacity. So we will somewhere select 50 for it and we'll press OK. We will again select this one. We will go to the FX for this and we will now adjust each and every shadow of each and every photograph. So I'll just quickly fast forward it to save your time. Perfect. Now we will just collapse our group. Now we have this group which contains each and every photograph. Now we are going to apply the drop shadow to this particular group. We will right click on it. We'll go to blending options. We'll go to drop shadow. And now this time we will choose the normal and we will increase the opacity somewhere 30. And now this time we will increase the somewhere 50 or 60 and we will leave the size as 18. We will just press OK. Perfect. So this is with the shadow effect and this is without the shadow effect. So this is looking really nice. And once you have achieved it, we will just create a curve layer on it to give a very unique and beautiful contrast to it. And we will just create one adjustment layer for exposure and we'll increase the exposure a bit and little bit the offset. Perfect. Once this is done, we have achieved wonderful results. After applying this particular technique, you can achieve so wonderful results as if the paintings are hanging on the wall. And this is really beautiful effect to be applied on various images of your family, friends, and just create amazing results. And in case you find any difficulty, come back to us. You're most welcome always. And don't forget to subscribe. There you go. Enjoy. All right. So, Jesse, you have seen how easily we have made multi-view portraits or multi-view effects in Photoshop. Ke andar, isi technique ko use karte ve, aap hi astonishing results generate kar sakte hain. In case you have any photography in Photoshop, you can go to our website www.onabuffshopphotography.com and you can comment in the comment section. Mein bhi. And if you have not subscribed my channel right now, please go and subscribe and hit the bell icon. बहुत जल्दी लौटेंगे एक नई फ्रेश डेडिकेटेड एपिसोड आपके लिए लेकर मीनवाइल स्टे फिट स्टे हेल्दी बी हैप्पी दिस इज अनुभव शर्मा फ्रॉम अनुभव शाह फोटोग्राफी साइनिंग ऑफ